Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for a new Bleach Brave Souls video. Um, I know it's been a while, I apologise for that. Um, there is a good reason for the fact that it's been a while, which you'll see as we delve deeper into this account showcase. Before we go any further though, I do want to address the audio in this video. If it sounds like it's taken a bit of a hit to you, that's because it has. Um, like I said before, not a very technical guy, so I haven't worked out how to use my Blue Yeti mic while I'm screen recording. Honestly, it was all over the place. I didn't get it. If anyone has any tips, I don't know if it's to do with the gain or something like that. It just sounded horrendous. So, I mean, this doesn't sound fantastic, but you have to bear with me. I'm trying to get it fixed. Um, hopefully in time for the next Brave Souls video, which will probably be the fifth anniversary, as the fifth anniversary of the game is bearing down upon us very quickly now. There's less than 10 days to go. I don't know about you guys, but I am saving orbs. I'm trying to get all my characters to level 200, hence the Yukio and the Nemu, although she is, of course, resurrectable now. Um, so yeah, that's really what I'm doing in the game at the moment. My quick thoughts on the 5th anniversary, before we get into this account showcase, um, it's looking from the teasers like the anniversary exclusive characters are going to be some form of Ichigo and Byakia, potentially from the Soul Society fight. That's, for Byakia, that's really cool. I'd really like a new sort of OG Byakuya, Shukei Hakuteke and that sort of thing. That would be really awesome. For Ichigo, you know, we get enough Ichigos as it is. And, you know, f f for yet another anniversary Ichigo, sounds like, at least in terms of the sort of era, it's very, very similar to the very recently released Fierce Battle Ichigo. I don't know. They could do some cool things with it if we get the crazy version where he gets part of his Hollow Mask during the Byakuya fight. That would be really cool. Other than that, though, that doesn't hype me that much. I'm much more ex in, uh, interested in round two, which I'm kind of assuming will be the Sternritters again. At least I'm hoping it will be. That's what I'm saving my orbs for anyway. Um, so yeah, I thought now was a really good time to do an account showcase, just show you guys around, show you what I'm working with in terms of characters and who we've got. So let's just get on with that. Let's have a look at the album first of all. I think that's the best place to be. Guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit subscribe as well. Um, we're doing Bleach content every single week. Um, discussions, rankings, all that sort of thing. We will be doing summons over the 5th anniversary as well if you're a Brave Souls fan. If that's your sort of thing, then you're already in the right place. Just make sure to hit that sub button. Don't forget to like the video as well for exposure. It really, really helps. And hit the notification bell. Anyway, in regards to the album, you can already see why I haven't made a video in some time. <laughs> uh, I haven't summoned on a single banner on this account since the Sternritters came out. On my other account, I did summon on the Ginzuru banner and I did summon on the Can't Fear Your Own World banner. Um, but I just... The, the Can't Fear Your Own World banner was quite good. But on this account, my major main account, I want to save my orbs. I want to save them for Sternritters. You know, I'll probably pull on the anniversary one just because it's anniversary. But really, I want those Sterns. So, on and honestly, just none of the... None of the recent banners have interested me that much. The Can't Fear Your Own World one was cool. I wanted to say Nosuke more than anyone, but... Yeah, so that's why there hasn't been a video in some time. Anyway, completion rate, 1155. Uh, 1,155 out of 1,504. So, I'm fairly happy with that. It's not too bad at all, to be honest. There's my Stone Ritters, very happy with those three. Obviously, I had to sink a lot of orbs to get Askin, but, you know, we won't talk about that. Um... Then you kind of scroll down. I've pulled on most banners recently. Um, done fairly well in some cases. You know, both two out of three Royal Guards on that banner, which are the ones I wanted as well. Um, Grim Joe on the Can't Fear Your Own World banner, but that was not until much later on. That was on his individual, and I just randomly got him, so that's quite lucky. Um, but yeah, I'd say overall we've done decently well. There are some banners you can see here that we just haven't summoned on at all. Uh, can't fear your own world round five was that I wasn't interested at all. Um, Fierce battle Eisen, I would really like to get. I got Fierce battle Ichigo out of a premium, like a BBS ticket, I think it was. So that was quite lucky. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy overall with how summons have been going lately. Missing Oetsu, that's a shame. You'll notice that there are some, like, very sort of hype characters that I am missing, unfortunately. Uh, Bankai Shinji, for instance. Um, Tokinada, I mean, that's the big one, right? I'm missing him. Of course, I've got a Harabelle and Barragon, and don't get me wrong, they're both very good. Tokinada is who I really want, and I just can't get him. He's, he doesn't, 
It's not happening, apparently. He does not want to come home on this account, so apparently that's never going to happen, I don't think. Didn't summon at all on that Spirit Society banner. I kind of wish I had. Again, didn't summon on the banner after it either. That Ruki is from a BBS ticket. Um, yeah, again, missing Koga. I just can't get him, no matter what. It doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to want to happen at all. Um, with the uh, Can't Fear Your Own World is sparred around there, you can see there. I was so lucky to get Stark. He was the only one I really wanted. I mean, Aaron Yero does look cool as well. Uh, but Stark just appeared in a single and I couldn't believe it. Aizen, of course I'm missing Aizen. Like, he's the one I want them. I, I know he's not even that good. And I was very happy to get the other two because they are exceptionally good characters. But Aizen, of course, I can't get him. Never, never going to happen. Um, but that, of course, is last anniversary, if you look there. You've got Mugetsu through to Soifon. So actually, we did pretty well last anniversary. Can we replicate it this time? Probably not. <laughs> we will see. Um, but some of these characters have just been evading me for what feels like forever now. Like, Red, uh, White Ichigo? It's is, it is not happening, apparently. Um, can't fear your own world, Noitora. Again, I just can't get this guy. I've tried for him. In general... The Can't Fear Your Own World Espadas have not gone well for me at all. Uh, Parasol Eyes, and again, the game just doesn't give me the characters I want a lot of the time. And I know that sounds ridiculous, because I'm actually pretty happy with this completion rate, but, you know, sometimes there are characters you really want, and you just can't get them. That's three Eisens I'm missing already on this list. Hikone as well, can't get him. I've tried it before. That's how I got Can't Fear Your Own World Grimjo, actually, which, you know, that, you're not a bad trade-off, to be fair. But Hikone was a filler on his banner, which is pretty much the main reason I went in on that. Uh, yeah, but as you can see here, we're doing pretty well overall. Missing the odd character here and there. True Bankai Ichigo. I have summoned on the latest banner that came out today. I did two steps and got absolutely nothing. So I'm probably not going to go in on that banner again. I'm, I just don't know when I'm ever going to get these characters. True Bankai Ichigo and um, the full Shunko Yoroichi. I just don't think it's going to happen. Anytime soon, but you know, I'm very happy with the way this looks. Uh, movie characters, again, are also not great. Kokuto, I was very happy with, and that was very recent. That was when uh, their banner, did their banner come back recently, I think? And I tried for that, and he was the only one I got, and that was great. Uh, again, Bankai Rukia, can't get her. Tried again today, didn't work. And of course, she's the one I want the most out of those three as well, but you know, whatever. The banner next to that, the Kisuke, Tsukushima, and Stark. <laughs> Again, that's one where I would absolutely love to have any of those characters, but it is just not happening, apparently. Diamond Dust Rebellion, completely don't have any of them. Um, but yeah, on the whole, pretty happy. Banken, don't have him. Unohana took forever to get, genuinely took me forever to get her. Um, but yeah, as you can see, pretty happy, all things considered, with the majority of this this list. Uh, full bring it, you go. We still don't have him. I just don't have him at all. Um, that actually segues quite nicely into this account's sort of history. So this is a day one account. Uh, this account, I did... Well, that's not true. I've been playing the game since day one, but not with this account. That's what I meant to say. Basically, I picked up the game on day one, played it for a bit, about six months or so, and this is entirely my fault, but I lost all of my data when I transferred to a new phone, because I just didn't do whatever you had to do properly. And I hate, I got so angry by that that I didn't play the game for about another six months, and then I started this account. So that's why we're missing quite a few of these OG units. Um, Free Renji haunts me, he actually haunts me. Because even, like, a year later, I made the same mistake of getting rid of him. So, you know, that's just, that's incredibly, incredibly rookie of me. And I know that, but alas, he's probably never coming back. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's basically it, really. I'm pretty happy, like I said, with the characters I've got. Um, yeah, there are, there are some glaring omissions, uh, especially, like, later on. Definitely some glaring omissions that I'd love to get. Like I said, True Bankai Ichigo, um, Full Bring Ichigo would be nice to get. Uh, but yeah, on the whole, I'm pretty happy. So I think if we kind of move on now, let's take a look at the inventory. 
how should we do this? If we sort them by... Let's go into Transcendence briefly, because like I said, I've... I've not really done a whole lot of Transcendence. This is not going to be the most competitive Brave Souls account you've ever seen in your life. I'll tell you that right now. And that's because things like Epic Raids, I just find them so boring. Things like Chronicle Quests, I find them so boring. But I do try, and I am trying to get better. As you can see, we've got Mugetsu Ichigo Max Transcended. He's the only character I've got Max Transcended. Um... Which I'm very happy with. I got incredibly lucky with the amount of Mugetsus I was pulling. And also, we got 3-star SP. So, yeah, I was very happy with that. He's probably my best character, I'd say. Aizen, or Flyzen, as we should call him. He's the next one I need to work on. 3-star um, Stamina is kind of, eh, whatever. Askin, I would love to get 5 out of 5. Obviously, you know I struggled with getting Askin. Um, and yes, that is a special move source that I use on his second... Uh, slot there. I'd love to get him 5 out of 5. I don't care how I do it. You know, that's that's the truth of it. I feel like I like characters as well that people don't really like on this game. Because, like, I've seen a few top 10 lists here and there, and Asking gets left off, Ichibe gets left off. I love both of these characters. I think they're so much fun to play. Ichibe especially, actually, just tears through PvE. Tears through it like there's no tomorrow. He's just such a good auto, and I, I love him. I think he's really good. Candice, 3 out of 5. Um, actually very happy with her. She's a really, really good unit as well. But as you can see from Transcendence, it's not really something I've put that much effort into yet, but I should do. I know I should do. Um, and again, if we sort it by link slots, this is a little better. A little better, but definitely not great. I'm not very good at doing these kind of you know, like, additional grinding. Because it's just not that interesting. I, like I said, I'm in it for the character collection aspect, not the super competitive aspect. So, for me, I'm fairly happy with where I am. So you can see I've already, I've only got two rows of, of fully link-slotted characters. Um, I did say, but it is my mission to link-slot and get every Sturmitter, and I will do that. It doesn't matter who it is, Meninas, Macallon, Pepe, Wackabrada, they're going to get link-slotted, and they're going to get, that's, that's my mission on this channel. We're already there. Actually, I need to link slot you harbor, actually. Although, he doesn't come under Quincy or Sturmitcher on this game, which is really weird. But, anyway. Yeah, I'm very happy with a lot of these characters, like Bankayama, Can't Free Your Own World, Grim Joe, Can't Free Your Own World, Stark is a great unit. I need to link slot more characters. As you can see, I have started working on some of them. Haribel, Senjumaru, Baragon, Unahana, that sort of thing. Like, Tenjiro needs to be link slotted. I don't know why he's not. As you can see... I'm not I'm not great. I'm not great at the additional details in this game, but I'm very happy with the characters I've got. Uh, if we look at character materials, again, this is another thing. Yeah, you can see I don't really do that much grinding for link slot potions. The only character I had every single potion for before I got them was Askin. As soon as we found out that he was a tech character, I grinded that like crazy. And of course I didn't get him. So that was amazing. But when we did get him eventually, I have a special move source. Huh. Okay, that's cool. Tell me in the comments, guys, who should I use the purple special move source on, if anyone? Um, like I said, Mugetsu's already there. Um, I guess I could wait to see the next set of Sterns. If it's like Asnot, who's purple, I'm expecting it. Then, yeah, I'd probably rather use it on him, to be honest. I didn't, just didn't even realise I had that. Okay. I think Senju Maru's 2 out of 5, but is she that good, though? Is she, like, really that good? I mean, like, really good. I don't know. She's a cool character. But, yeah, character materials-wise, I'm not doing that great. I don't bother again with the rings. I just can't be bothered with it. Like, and I'm just not that interested in the resurrected characters either. So, I don't know. Maybe it's the wrong attitude to have. Familiars, again, I'm missing a bunch. Missing Menos Grande, missing uh, Grand Fisher, I think he's one. Renji Biakia. I did really like the look of Grim Joe, though, so I went in on that and I managed to get him, which I was pretty happy about. Uh, I think he just had a really nice chibi model. He looked really good. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for my characters, guys. Let me know what you think of my album. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it, personally. For full transparency, I have spent money on this game. There's no denying it. Uh, I haven't really gone crazy 
I spent, I did spend money trying to get Askim. Other than that, not really. I like to buy character packs every now and then. I have got the passports because I think they make sense, personally, from my perspective. The character one, I'm planning on, I think, using it until I've got all of the characters that are available. You know, from, like, the OG pool. Can you, can you even get more than one? I don't actually know. But if you can, I'm going to use it, then probably bin it when it's done. But the Bonanza passport is really worth getting, I think. Uh, what are we looking at now? Accessories. My accessories are kind of rubbish, I think. There are, some of them are pretty good. Um, but I just think a lot of them are also not that good. I'll tell you one thing. Uh, I do get quite lucky with golden accessories. And I know a friend of mine, S. Carassa, you've probably heard of him on this channel before. He can't believe how many I, I tend to pull out of just like basic accessory tickets. And I am missing, I am missing a few, obviously, but like, you know, we've got a few of these golden accessories already. Um, see another one there. Uh, obviously, got the new Quincy accessories now. I'm trying to get that Tech Jinto. There you go, three golden chappies in a row there. Three, see, see I do get quite lucky with them. Uh, but yeah, I want that Tech Jinto for asking, obviously. I haven't managed to get there yet. I think I've just got a speed one. But yeah, you can see like my accessories, none of them are that crazy. Um, ex the accessory system annoys me a lot because I don't like re-rolling for the second effects. <laughs> As you can see, I'm very picky about how I play this game. Uh, but yeah, overall, I'd say I am very happy with how I'm doing, really. My PvP team is Askin, Weeken, and Ichibe. Um, again, I'm pretty happy with that. They mostly get the job done. I've never gotten higher than fourth seat. Fourth seat is the highest I've ever been. I I think I could get higher than that. I think I don't think weekend's attack is at ten yet, but the rest of them are. And I think I could probably get higher than fourth seat. I should probably try. Um but yeah, I think that's pretty much it guys. I don't know if there's anything else you want to see on my account. I'm very ready, very ready for the fifth anniversary. I those those summons are always basically the most exciting ones, right? Um I've been saving by not pulling on the banners at all, like swimsuit, not bothered about it, can't fear your own world on this account, wasn't bothered. Uh, the latest premium banners made it incredibly easy to save as well, but also Senkai Mon and stuff like that. I feel like with Senkai Mon, it was only relatively recently that I realised I could actually do it. You know, like the Tower of Ordeals or like Path of Valor, I've been doing it now for about, I'd say, six months. I've been able to successfully do Path of Valor. And that does help as well because you get tickets and stuff like that. Um, 400 Senkai Mon medals. Do I need to use them, do you think? I, I Because obviously we're getting a new Senkai Mon character. So I don't know whether or not to use that now or to save it for them. So, yeah, I don't really know. Um, the guild I'm in, not overly active. Now, I'll be honest, as you've seen from my account already, I'm not like a super competitive player. Um, so I'm not fantastic at guild quests <laughs> like i'm really not great but i do try and it, you know it does kind of bum me out a bit that this this guild i mean is not overly active but hey if anyone has space in their guild for someone who isn't fantastic at guild quests but does do them as you can see my team probably not optimal but this what is it like it, it, this is a bit of a nightmare this one um Oh, wait, I haven't changed my team yet. <laughs> oh, I've just I've just noticed they've swapped over, haven't they, because it's Monday. Oh, and this one should be all right, actually. Hollow, I'll be using Mugetsu for this one. For a second there, I was like, have I been using the wrong team this whole time? But no, this is the Mugetsu week. Okay, not too bad. Last week was the Captain Killer, I think, and that is a bit rough. Uh, so is the Espada Killer, actually. But yeah, no, so this week should be okay. But anyway, yeah, if there are spaces in any guilds, I'll be, I'll be happy to join. But yeah, so that's pretty much my account, guys. Um, like I said... It's about, I think it's closing in on about 900 days now, this one. Like I said, I unfortunately lost everything way back when. Uh, how do I do it? Three years now, I think. Um, uh, yeah, I, I kind of lost everything way back when. Oh, we just got our Asia, Asia pre-registration rewards. Which, 150 orbs! I, I, I did not realise we were getting that much. Um, cool, that's awesome. Welcome to the servers, Asia. 
Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much me done, guys, for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below how long you've been playing Brave Souls 4 and what your most proud character is. What character are you most proud of that you have in this game? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Until next time, I shall catch you later. Make sure to stay tuned to the channel for all the Bleach goodness we've got coming soon. Can't Fear Your Own World is finally coming out in the UK this week. Um, I've got it on Amazon order, but they're telling me they're not going to get it to me until the 28th, which is really annoying. But, you know, as soon as Can't Fear Your Own World gets in my hands, I'll be doing some uh, content for that. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, until next time, though, I'll catch you later. See you then.